It started off like any other day. I logged into Spamzilla to see what domains were available so that I can buy these domains and start making money. And normally what I would do here is click on either Ahrefs DR, which will give me the domain rating, so I could see which domains have the most power in Google, which is gonna help me make a ton of money. Or sometimes I'll go over here to Ahrefs Positions to see how many search engine rankings each website has in Google. But today, I did something a little different. I thought to myself, what if I sorted by the Ahrefs cost? This is the number shown right here under traffic. This is a simple estimate of how much Ahrefs is estimating you would have to spend to get the amount of traffic in this niche that this website is getting for free from all these keyword rankings. So we could see here Visa gift card activation. They're ranking number one, and it's saying that the average advertiser is paying 40 cents a click times that by the amount of traffic they get, and they're estimating that this keyword is worth about $4,000 a month to the WikiHow company. But what does this have to do with the domains I was looking at buying earlier? Well, quite simply, the reason WikiHow is able to get all those search engine rankings is because they have a good domain rating and lots of backlinks pointing into the website, which is why in Spamzilla, most people are gonna look at the domain rating and buy domains according to how many backlinks they have and how popular they are. Like this one here, Just Mercy Film, has a domain rating of 59. It's got some healthy backlinks, and it actually ranks in the search engines for over 250 different keywords related to Just Mercy. However, I need to think about this and ask, what am I going to do with this traffic? I mean, I could just point them at something and make money from the movie, or maybe it's a religious movie. I could point to religious affiliate programs. But I am kind of pigeonholed here as to what I can promote. And since I do this for a living, every day I'm looking at GoDaddy Auctions and Spamzilla to see if there are some different domains that I can buy that will make me a ton of money. Again, most of the time I click DR or Positions, but this time it was a little different, and I clicked on Ahrefs Cost. And what you're about to see is kind of amazing. Right here, number one, we can see that this one's in French, so I'm probably not going to use that. However, what about this? Oxbow thing. Hmm. 35,000 rankings in Google for an estimated traffic value of... Wait a minute. I gotta check this out. Oxbow Tavern Modern American Food. 37,000 rankings in Google. $14,000 a month traffic value with only 319 backlinks? And it looks like their ranking drastically improved over the past couple months. Let's take a look at what this guy's actually ranking for. How many chicken breasts in a pound? One cup, two ounces. How long to bake salmon at 400? Okay, that's interesting. Let's take a look. How long to bake salmon at 400? Well plated, laughing spatula, Oxbow Tavern, and this was just put up 60 days ago. 21,000 searches a month. All right, we got some ads, salmon clip art, and then it looks like this content was written by AI. Let's investigate even further. Over here on name bio, I can type in oxbowtavern.com and see when this domain was last purchased. OxbowTavern.com last sold for $415 at GoDaddy Auctions. So essentially, they bought this domain for $415, loaded it up with some AI content, got almost 30,000 top rankings in Google, and now they're selling it again at auction. And with four hours to go, it's already at $3,600. Wait a minute, Marcus. So you're telling me I can come here and find good domain names in a relevant topic. Then I can come over here to ChatGPT and say, write an article about how long to cook salmon in the oven at 400 degrees. 
and ChatGPT is going to go and make me this entire article that I can use on my website to get traffic and make money. And we could see here it does a pretty darn good job, which is very comparable to the content that is found on this website. In fact, this is highly similar content to what we're finding over here at Content at Scale. And I know that content at scale and AI content works because I used it over here on my termite website. You can see we gained over 250 top rankings for all kinds of words related to termites and different things like that. And yes, this is using the exact same method of buying the domain that actually already ranked. And you can see here, we are ranking on Google for many different keywords that we went for. And this content is actually very simple. I just put in the title, and the AI generated the entire piece of content just like that. And we could see here exactly when they started posting AI content. And it looks like they have about 168 different pages of content, which if you were gonna use a program like Content at Scale would cost you around $2,500. However, I think they might be using simple little prompts with ChatGPT and other AI programs. So essentially they just took this domain that they bought for $400 and increased the value instantly using AI. Of course, this did take some work. They had to upload it and add images and make pages and stuff like that, but that could be done in 30 minutes to an hour a day for a couple of weeks. And looking at the traffic value of $14,000, yeah, I'd say it's probably worth it. Now there is one little caveat here, actually, it's a big caveat. And that is with the release of Google's new generative AI search engine. We can see here that if we search for a term like how to screenshot on Windows, Google's generative AI takes up pretty much the entire top of the screen. And for websites like this that are focusing on informational keywords, watch what starts to happen when these keywords are searched for. Google is going to generate its own answer for each question. One cup to ounces. Again, Google's going to generate its own answer. How long to bake salmon at 350? Now, this one's a little different because you have to actually click the button to get the AI to generate the answer for the search query. And we can see here that generative AI is going to generate answers for questions, which essentially is going to take sites like this and throw them to the bottom of the search results. And that is going to drastically reduce the amount of clicks going to this website. And since Google AI is going to shake up this industry so much, make sure you smash a like button and check out tomorrow's live stream where we're gonna be going through the results of Google's generative AI live on stream. Details in the description. However, that's not to say that this method doesn't work like crazy using my trigger word method. My trigger word method is where we go through and use keywords like this, which obviously if we're doing the domain method, we're gonna tie them in with our domain. Maybe if it's a credit domain, like the one I bought yesterday, we could do something like balance credit. And maybe there's people searching for different things like how to, how to balance their credit or something like that. We simply go over here, choose a low KD to get the low competition keywords, hit show results, and we can see all kinds of different keywords related to how to balance your credit or credit card balances and different things like that. You can even use a trigger word like beginners. What are the best things for beginners? And we can see all kinds of stuff like best sewing machine, drawing for beginners, electric guitar for beginners, and on and on we go. And we can see here that a lot of these do not have featured snippets and probably won't have AI results directly on the home page, meaning the traffic is probably pretty safe. And I think if you start learning how to buy the right domains and pair them with the right AI content that'll get tons of traffic, you can actually make a lot of money. This is exactly what I've been doing for over 23 years, only up until the AI craze, I had to pay writers to write all kinds of content. So being able to scale this was actually pretty difficult. But what we're seeing here with domains like Oxbow Tavern is that we can actually get a lot of search engine rankings really, really fast without having to do a lot of work. And another caveat I would say is that a lot of people are using this incorrectly to try to, to, try to trick or spam the search engines. In fact, Oxbow Tavern actually converted from a racelanelickers.com website. And if we take a look at the stats on this one, we can see that the keywords and traffic is dropping drastically 
which means that the content is effectively not pleasing the Google search engine. Our Chardonnay wine sweet. We could see it used to rank number eight, but now it's nowhere to be found. And in fact, looks like they're trying to do the same thing with Oxbow Tavern. So while this strategy can be super powerful and you can get a domain and make it rank really, really good, you wanna focus on things that are similar to what they used to be. Oxbow Tavern was actually a restaurant. It wasn't a website about salmon or cooking or anything like that. It was quite simply a restaurant. So in a sense, what they're doing is kind of trying to buck the system and make this work in an inorganic way by just putting a bunch of content up and hoping it works, which might work for a short time, but that's pretty much all you're gonna get. And what I like to do is actually buy domains in a specific niche that ranked for something specific, like this one here, newsuv.org. This is a site all about different SUVs and which SUVs are best and everything like that. And we can see here that this is actually starting to get picked up and ranking in Google with 100% AI created content. So essentially I bought this domain for about $700. It's ranking in Google. I could turn around and sell this domain for maybe five or $10,000 by the time I've done, by the time I'm done. And if I get tons of rankings, I might be able to sell it for even more. But notice how it's very tight knit. I'm not buying a site that was about some random topic that has good backlinks and trying to trick the search engines into ranking it. We're actually taking a website and rebuilding it with content that is very similar to what it had in the beginning. And as you can see here, the domain ended up selling for around $4,150, which means they pretty much 10x their money on a domain they bought just three months before. And if you watch my trainings on how to buy these domains and pair them with AI, I think you have an unstoppable side hustle that you can turn into a full-fledged business. Check out those videos in the description below.